Hey guys, today's from the install bay. We're going to show you how to hook up one of these little relays. So stay tuned. So sometimes when you're installing, you need to add a higher amperage circuit in. And how you do that is with a relay. And today we're going to discuss two applications that you may need a relay. One is if you have more than one amplifier or an amplifier and let's say a remote turn on or an amplifier and a radio bypass and a power antenna and also adding a backup camera. These are two situations where the amperage that's coming out of the device or the car might not be enough to do what you want to do. So we have some wire, we have a harness, let's get to it. Okay, so what we're trying to do today is we have the radio's remote turn on, which is a small amount of amperage. We need to increase the amperage that's coming out of this because we're going to hook up two amps, a power antenna, and a radio bypass. That's four things that are drawing current from this. So we're going to use a relay to do that. Now, for that we're going to need a couple pieces of wire. So what we want to do first is these are, there's numbers. There's an 85, 87, 86, 30, and an 87A. We're going to take a ground and we're going to hook it up to 85. We're then going to take a constant 12 volts, hook it up to 87. We're going to take a blue wire and hook it up to 86. And we're going to take a double remote and hook it up to 30. So now we're going to take this to our harness. We've made these wires the same color to do so they match up with our factory wiring harness. So yellow is going to be 12 volts. So we can go ahead and tie these together. We can do the same with the ground. Now the blue, single blue, is going to come from the radio. Now these are also going to match up to their pairs on the factory side. And in this case the red isn't going to do anything so we just twist those two together because they need to be connected. So what we end up with is the remote turn on comes out of the radio to turn the relay on. The ground is connected so that the positive and the negative connect to turn the relay on. And then it's going to pass the constant 12 volts that we have hooked up to 87 out to 30. So now we have two wires that we can run back to turn on all our product. Okay, so for our second application today, we need to increase the output voltage of the factory accessory wire because we're going to hook up a backup camera and the factory accessory wire doesn't put on enough voltage in order to power the radio and the backup camera. So we've got our relay. What we want to do is take a ground, hook it up to 85. We're going to take an accessory wire and hook it up to 86. Constant 12 volts, we'll hook it up to 87. And then we'll have our double feed and we'll hook that up to 30. So now what we want to do is bring this over to our harness. Add the ground. Add the accessory. Add the 12 volts, now we have our two wires for accessory, one is going to be for powering up the backup camera, and the other one is going to be for powering up the radio. So we'll go ahead and twist that on, and then we can join these two together, so we'll twist our yellows. Join our blacks. So now, what we, don't need the remote at the moment. So now, what we've, what we've created is the accessories go into the relay to turn the relay on. 
the ground is there because we have a positive and negative. We need those two to charge the coil. The constant 12 volts is feeding into the relay and passing out to our new, our new accessories. And that's it. So what this will do is this will give us two accessory outputs powered off of the constant 12 volts. All right, guys, so once you're at this point, you can connect those wires any way you want. You can use buck connectors, you can use crimp caps, you can use solder and shrink wrap. Whatever your method of choice is, go ahead and use that. That's fine. Just don't use tape and don't use wire nuts. Those are bad for cars. Cars get hot, tape falls off. Wire nuts are made for houses. Cars move, they fall off. Okay, guys, if you have any questions about this video, you know what to do. Leave them in the comments down below and we'll get back to you. Otherwise, if you want to know more about us, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. You guys have a great night. We'll see you later next time. Bye. To uh, make templates? Sure. Hey, baby. You remember me? <laughs>